I could call them now and say, oh yeah, there's something I've seen and they'll have it in school like that because I know there are people queuing and waiting for this. This presentation is designed to reveal why Warehouse Will, a new approach to teaching maths to early learners, can answer a major teaching problem. The Mathematics Education Review Group reported that children are not achieving because they may be being rushed through topics before a secure understanding has developed. But what stops a child from achieving a secure understanding? Professor Martin Hughes revealed in his book Children and Number that this rush through topics is not helping children to reflect and understand the relationship between the concrete or real world around them and the abstract world of maths, a key concept that needs to be grasped before formal maths can begin in earnest. Research into brain-based learning reveals we all learn by using our senses, that is, our sense of sight, hearing and touch. Although there is a plethora of educational materials designed to help children with maths, each employing the different senses, there is an absence of a fully integrated multi-sensory scheme for this basic skill, until now. It's our intention to fill this absence in maths with one called Warehouse Will. How many? Hmm, yes. How big? Hmm, I see. What time? A warehouse is the ideal environment for teaching maths, as it contains every aspect of the subject from numbers, time scales, measurement, adding, taking away, shapes, sizes, angles, positioning, you name it. It's part of the real world and can clearly show the need for maths in everyday life. The approach starts with children playing with a range of materials associated with Warehouse Will. They then will listen to stories about Will, an engaging character who is on a similar learning curve to the children. As they identify with him and the maths problems he encounters, they begin to work them out for themselves, using interactive exercises and small world play kinesthetically, creating the secure understanding each child needs, stage by stage. I think in terms of actually having something visual for the children yeah. to look at, it really focused them in. I thought the children got a lot out of all the activities. I was watching their faces, they were really involved. I was up to five, but then there was four. They were asking me who's Will and where's Will gone. I said he's gone to have a cup of tea and we're helping him choose the things for his warehouse. And they, they thought that was lovely. Warehouse Matthew. I'm Warehouse Joseph. I think it's nice for them to see a character and see, you know, pictures of the toys to then go and play with them. Yeah. Given that they're, you know, this is their second full day in school, I think that's pretty good going. Um, it was very hands-on, which I believe the children learn best from. There was a storyline that allowed you an in to getting them to sort or getting them to count. There was a reason for doing it. it. Gave me when I was planning the lesson, it gave me a really nice link into a real problem. And we used what we did today with the lists that we saw Will doing in the warehouse. We then used that to check that we got the right number of um, items for our snack. So the children could see that not only were we watching a story today, but we could also use that in the things we do in the classroom. So. When I was out in the playground, I said, did you enjoy that? Oh, yes. When can we have it? <laughs>